Good evening, everyone. Give it a minute for everyone to come in. I'm a minute early, I think. Maybe not. Also, too, don't forget your happiness crew merch is in the links right there in the comments. Go click it, get your merch today. Right there. Let's see here. Let's see if I can. We're doing the Therapy Thursday Live tonight. Since I have been kind of sickly. Um, I forgot how to share stuff. Oh, that's the flash. Let's keep that on. I don't get kicked off or how do you can you share it? I guess I can I not? I am gonna let this, you know, before we do get started, why I'm trying to see if the author is gonna jump on here. I'm pretty sure he was. I just want to make sure to notify him. So I'm gonna play this song by Papa Roach called Leave a Light On. I hope I don't get in trouble kicked off live. If I do, I'm just gonna restart the live because it's a great song. It's Mental Health Awareness Month, you know, so Leave a Light On is a great song for anyone that's struggling, you know, because there are people that care. You just, you know, you gotta find the right people to care for you, you know? Go get from the 80s. I'm just kidding. Okay, guys, let me get serious. Therapeutic Thursday this week was, was by Casper the Ghost. I was hoping he was going to join, but um, I tried to notify him. We'll see what happens. He might pop in here. So I'm going to go ahead with reading the poem. The poem is called Tired. He was ready last night, and I was sick, and I feel bad. We just keep missing each other. You know, eventually we'll get him on here so we can talk more about his poetry. I don't know what happened. And last week, it was just the connection was not working right. So as you notice, we got Happy the Bunny in the background. This cool little Happiness Crew mug. They're not available on the site, but these t-shirts are. So if you go click that uh, that link in the comments, it goes. it'll take you straight to my Happiness Crew site. You order straight from who prints it, which is Nova Printworks, and they send it right to you, which is they're amazing. We want to make sure we thank Nova Printworks for... If it wasn't for them, our stuff wouldn't look this good. You know, and they're, they're uh, what's it called, inspiring me to branch out and do my own printing eventually. And maybe own, make, you know, uh, specialty shirts too, you know, for the people. Do stuff for other people in our country here, you know, like they do over in Canada. So, so yeah. So, Happiness Crew. Happiness Crew right there. NovaPrintWorks.ca backslash Canada. Not Canada. Happiness Crew. By the way, the prices are in Canadian money, which is a little more than American. So, once you <coughs> order, it will um, it'll transfer as proper. But we're going to go ahead and read Tired by Casper Ghost, which was this week's Therapy Thursday uh, submission. I'm always tired. I feel like I'm I'm wired. I'm connected to the battery that just can't move the tires. There are things that are in my head that make me toss and turn in bed. I'm feeling stronger than all the thoughts to leave, leave me full of dread. But time is getting shorter now. We're getting older. Sun's, going down. Sun's gone down. You can feel it in the morning with the nervousness before your feet every ever even ah before your feet ever even reach the ground time is time is life's real enemy i can feel it when it enters me it lets me know we aren't the people that we were all pretend to be that's deep <clears throat> there's a sickness and we struggle with it mentally you gotta close your eyes sh shed disguise and then you'll see who you're meant to be if you think about it sense sensibly with a little paid attention, you'll realize the history books won't mention me. And we try to live relentlessly. Suicide is an option, but it's not the end. That's meant for me. Soon you'll see imaginary of what this quiet kid is supposed to be. The glowing boards and gold rewards, those are all the things that are meant for me. All the things I'm about to see, the end is right in front of me. 
but I'll jump that fence and keep going. No foolish destiny that isn't mine will ever be affecting me. I'm Caspa, I'm a ghost, and that's the way it's meant to be. Whew, that was deep. Oh, hey, buddy. Did you, I was gonna, I did I maybe, did you want to get on here? I hear missing the invite. Go ahead and forget done reading. That is a deep poem, though. That's what I'm gonna say is that is deep. <laughs> Sorry, my voice. Like I said, we'll see how long my voice lasts tonight. Hey, what's up? what's up, my guy? I tried to hit the invite button, but I don't know if it's, is it gonna? Let's see. Why is it? Dude, lately I've been having so many problems with connection, whether it's Facebook or here, because it keeps saying you're declining the live video invitation. If you can't get on, it's totally fine. If we can't figure it out, I don't want to spend the whole live about that, because that was a deep poem. We need to talk about that shit, so I want to bring you on the live. When you're ready, send me the invite, and we'll talk more about this. What's up, Ashley? What's up? Why well, wait for Casper so you know you guys can donate stars to the cause of Shatterag? No, I don't expect that. Go buy a t-shirt. Don't donate stars. Go buy a t-shirt. Oh, come on. Anyways, we'll talk about the phone for a little bit while we get him connected. So the first one where it says, you know, the first part just, it's so true. All of it. I feel like I felt this all before. Like, I'm always tired. I feel like I'm wired. I'm connected to the battery that just can't move the tires. Like, when I, before I started taking my, my, my Lexapro, my depression medication, that's how it kind of felt. Like, I couldn't make the right connections to get stuff going for a while. You know what I mean? My brain wouldn't just stop to help myself. It kept, like, trying to go five steps ahead all the time. The things that are in my head that make me toss and turn in bed. I feel I'm feeling stronger than all the thoughts that leave me full of dread. But time is getting shorter. Now we're getting older. Dude. Um, so how I interpret that, right? Is like <coughs> all these dreams and nightmares that are in our head, right? A lot of the nightmares. And then you realize you're getting older. So it's like you're trying to help yourself fix all this stuff, but you realize you are getting older and you're like, shit, bro, how much time do I have to really get myself on track to live, you know, a subnormal life, whatever normal means, you know? I keep saying, you know, don't worry, I'm a little bit out of it. The clips for this live may not be as great as like the last ones. So, um, Time is life's real enemy. That line right there on the second page, time is life's real enemy. Bro, right there, that line just right there, that's so deep. Because of the fact that it is true. Like time, like <clears throat> the only thing in the world that we can never get more of is time. You know what I mean? Like it's, we can't get it back. We can't add any. Like, once the time has passed, the time has passed. Like, you can try and catch up on your sleep, but then you're just wasting a day. You know what I mean? So, but at the same time, if you learn how to, that and accept that, if you learn how to accept that, that, that time is one of our enemies, but at the same time, accept it and live in the moment. And, and you can learn, you know, you can take all the steps to help your mental health and stuff like that. You can really learn that, Time, yes, it is one of our enemies because we can never get more of it. But at the same time, if we do, if we live more in the moment, we will make more of the time that we do have. I hope that makes any sense. That's what I've noticed. The more I live in the moment, the more I worry about today and not tomorrow or yesterday, the, 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 I seem to be enjoying my days more for one. For two, I get more done because I'm not like, oh, I don't got enough time to do this. I don't got enough time to do this. I don't think like that anymore. You know what I mean? I'm like, I got this time to do this. I get to do this. <coughs> Sorry, guys. 
And the biggest thing there is acceptance, self-acceptance, life acceptance, learning how to accept that we are robbed a lot of our time because we have, some of us have to work full-time jobs. Some of us mentally can't handle life. So we only get like one good day out of 60, you know? So we really have to cherish what we do have, but also, you know, um, just realize how to harness that and live in the moment. And I think that would help a lot more with people because, you know, like a saying, I, I didn't make up the saying you guys have heard before. If you have anxiety or you're living too much in the future, if you have depression, you're living too much in the past. I actually really do believe that because the more I think about the past, it's the more of I would have, could have, should have. And it gets me depressed because like, I didn't do that when I was younger. I didn't do this when I was younger. I didn't start this at a younger age. I didn't get cleaner at a younger age, you know? And, and so I had to quit looking at that like that. And in the future, it's like, oh my gosh, I'm 36. I'm, all, or I'm 36, I'm 37. How much time do I have to make something of myself? You know what I mean? When really your 30s isn't a bad age. When you're in your 30s, you are, you know, I feel like I also heard something like when your 20s are experimental, your 30s is where you get it. And your 40s is where you have a life kind of. And I'm not just saying that to make myself feel better, but if you look at a lot of successful people, they didn't get successful till they're later in life. So technically with what I'm doing, I'm right on track, but society made me think that I need to go faster, 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 keep up with the young ones, go faster, faster. No, you don't need to go faster. You need to make the right moves, whether it's business, whether it's music, anything. You don't need to work twice as hard as the next guy. You just need to make your moves count and make the right moves. So that's where we get from the time because <clears throat> if you make the right moves, you waste less time and then you waste less time achieving your dream. You know what I mean? Your dream could just be to live a subnormal life, to live a normal life, to be above and beyond. You know what I mean? Whatever your normal is, we all have a normal expectation of ourselves. So that's why I say that whatever your normal expectation is of yourself, whether it's to get over, learn how to deal with your mental health and, and get over it and move on. You know what I mean? You're never going to get over it, but you know what I mean? I take Lexapro now for depression. I'm moving on. I have accepted that. I moved on. You know what I mean? And that that's the biggest part of all this is acceptance. Like I was saying. So let's move on to this <coughs> before I lose my whole voice tonight. We are the people that we all, we aren't the, okay. Okay. Now I can feel when it enters me, it lets me know we aren't the people that we all pretend to be. How many times do you go through your day saying, I'm okay, I'm okay. Hey, God, how you doing? You're really depressed. You're really like, just like freaking out inside, but you're like, I'm okay. Because you don't think anyone cares. You don't think anyone wants to listen. And not only that, your disease tells you that no one wants to listen and that no one cares. So you just say, I'm okay, I'm okay. So you don't have to burden anybody. And no one has to give their unwanted advice upon you that you don't want as well. Peter Thursday. For the lives, because I need to figure something better situation out, because I can't keep having these problems. It's embarrassing. It's fucking embarrassing. All right. So, I'm going to tag people again. Man. Fucking embarrassing. Pardon my language, guys. I can't tag people this way. It's fine. If they see it, they see it. Casper, I don't know what's going on. <coughs> also, that last live, like, half of it cut out, so I don't, I don't know, bro. We'll figure this out. I'm going to get to the bottom of this this week. I really got to work on this. I've been trying to do a lot of stuff. So, and, it's, and this week's busy too. So like, oh all right. So like I was saying before with the whole, the, the, the fourth page here, you know, where it says suicide is an option. A lot of people don't understand that people with mental illnesses believe suicide is an option because our mental illnesses make us think that we'd be better off dead and our family members would be better off if we were dead. So that's why suicide happens. But see, here's the thing is it's, you know, that's what's hard is, is every illness on every person is different. So you can't really, it's hard to see signs of this. Sometimes it just pops up and it happens. Sometimes it's over a long range of time. I'm not a licensed therapist, so I can't really comment too much on that. Besides the fact that if you are suffering from any of those things, if you do have suicidal thoughts, there are hotlines you can reach out to. You know, if, whether you're suicidal because you can't find a home or you're addicted to drugs or you just think no one loves you, give that to the, give the hotline a call. That definitely helps. Reach out. I mean, there's a bunch of outlets when it comes to social media. Like when I was growing up, 
Suicide wasn't even talked about. You know what I mean? People are like, people are stupid if they do suicide. That's what people would say. It's fucking, it's crazy, right? And they look at today, how many people have killed themselves and they're like, man, how could we have stopped it? Be, not call them stupid for the first fucking part, but part of my language. So, point being is, if we can find the problem, figure out what it is, suicide wouldn't be as readily an option. Like, yes, I have cut myself in the past. Mine was more for attention. I never actually wanted to die because when I did cut it good, I realized, hey, I don't want to die. Um, so it never happened again. But I do understand how it does. people do do it to, 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 to relieve the pain because somehow it does for some people. Um, all right, on to the next point. Um, I saw the answer for me. Let's go to the next page. And the end is right in front of me, but I'll jump the fence and keep going. See, as you get to the end of the poem, it gets to be... Sorry, my, my whole... Eh. Um, it gets to be more, uh, more positive. You know what I mean? Like, it's going to keep going. You know, no foolish de de destiny that isn't mine. Whatever be affecting me. I am Caspa. I'm a ghost. And that's the way it's meant to be. And I really feel like as long as he keeps going, you know, whether that's he's talking, the author's talking about himself or anyone, as long as you keep going, that's what matters. So the whole thing in this poem, it may be, it may be sad, saddening that we go through this, but if we can just try and keep a little bit of a, the motivation of if we keep going, it'll get better, then it can get better. You know what I mean? Tonight's been a night, guys. If you don't know, the link in the comments goes to get these shirts. These are sparkly. Yes, I'm filling up the mannequin. It is sparkly. It's awesome. I've had too many problems with lives tonight. I'm ready to get off here. I don't know about you. Casper, if we can get you on a live interview this week or sometime, we will. But like I said, guys, I think I'm going to take this week off. And of Therapeutic Thursday, maybe still do a poem. If I don't have any submitted, so if you do want to submit poetry, shatteredaddictwriting at gmail.com. Submit your poetry, and we, we can do a submission next week. I just don't know about a live video because I'm having too many issues with connectivity. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to get it figured out. I might have to do something else, and then, like, uh, I, I might have to just, I'll figure it out. I don't know. I don't want to go through all the details on here. I don't know what I was about to. Um, anyways, I hope everyone has a good night. And remember, if you have any suicidal thoughts or you need any help with mental health, there's a lot of hotlines. There's, I know it's hard to find a doctor that cares. It's hard to find people. You know, it's hard to find the right medication. But if you just go through the process, it can get better. So I hope everyone has a good night. I'm going to go piece whatever I can together to put for a live video, but tonight, there's too many connection problems. Too much shit going on. I don't know what is going on. Hey there, Stephanie. Um, sorry, you're right at the end here. So, like I was saying, if you want a Happiness Crew shirt, this mannequin's saying, go to get your Happiness Crew shirt at the link in the comments. I hope y'all have a good night. I'm gonna jump off. Peace.